Hi friends, let's make an icon grid in Figma. We're going to begin by talking a little bit about what this is. So the icon grid is made up of this pixel grid. I have some key orthogonal lines and I also have some key shapes. Let's begin by drawing out a new frame. I'm going to set this frame to 24 pixels by 24 pixels square. I'm going to select that frame and click over here in my layout grid. Click on that first one that pops up. I'm going to set my grid to be one pixel. Next, I'm going to draw out a little line above here just so I can detail the values that I'm going to use. I have a red stroke set at 100% opacity with a 0.2 center line. I'm going to use this style as I create my lines in here. Press the P key and I'm going to create two points. I can easily move and snap these points to those edges. If you're having difficulty snapping, you can set your snap to pixel grid, snap to geometry, and snap to objects on. One other Another setting that I have, if I hit Command P and I type in nudge amount, I have my small nudge set to 0.5 to give me a little bit more fine-tuned control. We have our first line here. I'm going to select it. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to hit Shift V. So let me paste in that other one. I have those first two orthogonal lines. Next, I'm going to create another two points. This one is going to be centered. So I'm pressing P key to bring up the pen tool. And then I press the V key to kind of go back to the normal tool. You can see that I've addressed this down the middle. I can copy that command C, command V, or if you're on windows, control C, control V, and I'm going to hold down shift while I rotate it. So I have all the diagonals, the vertical and the horizontal line. I'm going to press the O key. I'm going to drag this from the sensor while holding down both the shift key and the option key, alt key if you're on Windows. I'm going to extend this out and we're going to leave these two pixels on the outset for our margins. It's kind of like our safe area. So I'm going to press shift X to swap the fill in the stroke. Now, if I want to copy the style of this line that I have, I can press command option C or control alt C on Windows. So now command option V will paste that style. So now let's draw a rectangle. Angle. I'm going to draw in a 20 pixel by 18 pixel rectangle. This is going to be our tall one. And actually, I want it to be 20 pixel by 16 pixel. There we go. This is going to be our first tall shape. And once again, command option V, we get that style. And let's add a border radius, a corner radius of one. So now that that is set, I can copy that. I can paste it and let's rotate that at 90 degrees. And we now have our wide one. So we're going to have one more rounded rectangle here. Let's copy and paste that and this one should be the 18 pixel by 18 pixel value so now that we have this all together select them all i'm holding down the command key control key on windows and i'm going to come up here and i'm going to union them so they are now all together i'm going to set this fill value of that red to about 10 percent so then this way the opacity is down if i zoom in you can see that each of those lines are actually set to the center points of those guidelines i can now select this frame come up here and create it as a component and i will say i icon grid 24 pixels. For every new instance that I create, I can bring that down here. I can right click and I can frame that selection and I can use this to create my next icon. Hopefully you found that helpful and as always, happy designing.